I just saw something, but I might be wrong, but I used to work for UPS, and they usually was Monday through Friday. No Saturday delivery. I don't know if they changed it or what, but we're going to find out today. Because I'm pretty sure they'll run on Saturday, so I might be getting it Monday. We'll see. Breaking chairs here. Yep, that's it. I need a, I need a knife. Yes, sir. Let me get it out. Yes, sir. There it is. So it do come with one. So I got an extra. Got some instructions to read. I know how to install it and all that, but to make sure I got the right belt. I had to go get the Let me uh, see if I need a smaller bell for this. So, a little later than usual, <laughs> not to my uncles. I took them, um, took them this piece. Uh, since one came, About to crash. I took that piece since one came with my alternator. Uh, I didn't need to take this off. Now I'm just taking my uh, color intake thing off so I can get to the alternator. Um, I'm gonna buy a color intake. It's called a black black wing. That way it can show my alternator. Disconnect the battery. That's out. Let me grab a 10 millimeter. There's wire everywhere. And now I got this. And this. Go down here. Pull you down. And I pull the separate team belt off. Now I'm just getting these bolts out, just two bolts, 15 millimeter. Go grab me some gloves, it's hot down in here. Took this off, took this off, negatives disconnected. There's the new one. Let me continue. Yeah, I'm just taking a ratchet and prying this sucker out. I need to hold on. All right, I was struggling a little bit, but I don't know if y'all can see how the bushing is pushed out. Um, I couldn't get this alternator in there. As you can see, see, I put a little dent right there, right there, 
hood chip right there. I put rags on top of it and I was hitting it with that piece. <coughs> but what you can see is I found, luckily I got luck, luck I got lucky. I found the bolt and nut and that socket that fits over this and I'm pushing the bushing back in. So this is a 13. So I'll just go in here and just push that sucker back in. And I'll just to tighten it on back. All right, you see the difference? So let's put this sucker in there. Put this under there. This nut in there. Twist it. Fall. Ooh, almost. Hold on, let me put this on there before I drop it. All right, I got it on there. So now, let's take my socket. together it's coming handy later on put this on the side of my bag put you in there try this again okay. finally got it installed now I just gotta run this Hook up my negative, I gotta find the right uh, socket or ratchet. So let me go ahead and do all that. All right, I got everything back. I got it installed. I got two grounds going down to right there. Um, clean it up with the wire I got. Then I got, uh, I wrapped it around the goddamn Oh, uh, forget it. Let's go ahead and put you on. Take you down. Go on the keys. Let's see. Where my boat is. Now, close you. Turn you on. Oh, the truck's not on. That's not right. Let's see what I did wrong. Hold on. <laughs> All right, right now I'm just driving around letting these batteries charge up. It's at 14.6 right now. It's not dropping or anything. I ain't playing no music. Nice little pool. Just driving around, I'm about to head out to my buddy. He want to hear with the alternator installed. So I'm about to go right now. 
Right, I made it home. It is 12.20. Truck's a hot mess. I got stuff everywhere. I just came back from um, cruising around with my buddy. So... I blew the dust cap off. So I'm either gonna use E6000 or see if my buddy Cody got some. Uh... I'm gonna walk though. Grab my wallet. I'm gonna grab my wallet. But, um, I'm sure grab it is me. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I'll find it later. But, here's the voltage right now. 14.6, the rabbit goes up 14.7. If I sh see, it. there's the dash, everything's normal. If I turn it off, the door is such off. I start it. Six. Okay, it's back to normal. Happy, satisfied. So, turn you off. Tomorrow, the plan: get this trash out of here. Um, add more power wire. Um, there's my charger. Nope, didn't turn you on. Oh, there's my wallet. Oh, ouch, that's my elbow. But I'm gonna hook this, hook this up, run some more wire, uh, two runs, a power, some ground. That should be it. Clean this truck up tomorrow. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Now. Catch you on the next update. Right, it is Mother Day. It is Sunday. what it does after it's been sitting. Six, five, six. Something all right. Got it. I just left from Lowe's. They didn't have no E6000, so I'm about to. Oh. The sideways out. Uh, Lowe's didn't have no E6000, so I'm right here at Home Depot to see if they got some to put around uh, on this dust cap get some zip ties. I don't know what happened to the zip ties I had. Um, let's look back. What was that? Let's put it apart. Got 
hit on my head somewhere. I can feel it. I can pump it over there. Let's go ahead and see if I can find some. They got some. So now I just need some zip tie. Alright, they could. Well, I couldn't record it. was playing music. I played music, so. We got some zip ties. We got some E6000. I got some little brackets. Hope they hold. For a box, stop that from sliding. And I got some longer lag bolts and washers for the suburban. So I'm about to head home and start installing this. Add more wire, ground wire. Clean this truck out. So that's what I'm about to go do now. All right, let's see what it does. After been sitting all night, usually it will say hi. Oh, you so always go haywire. Perfect. Right. Tell you what, it feels good having good voltage again. 14.5. Got the engine. Happy. The last time I had good voltage was the Blazer, a gold Blazer. That's when I had two alternators. I had a stop for the truck <coughs> and I had a MacMan 270. Voltage is really good in there. My Apollo voltage Something's up with the regulator, so my voltage wasn't really good like that, but finally back. Just gotta do my doors, door speakers, four channel. Uh, this is what this is for. 